All right, so in this problem, let's just keep our um, group of seven here because it's a lot easier. Um, so let's vary the problem a little bit. Let's ask, what is the probability that exactly two people in this case, in a group of seven, um, the probability that they have a birthday of exactly April 15th, right? So that's two people out of seven have, or exactly two, right, have a birthday on April 15th, right? So this guy, this first guy here, has a birthday on April 15th, right? So what's the probability that, say, this pink guy right here also has a birthday on April 15th, or the brown guy, or the blue guy, or the green guy, etc., right? So what's that probability? Well, let's talk it out for a second. So what's the probability that the first guy here has a birthday on April 15th? Well, it's only one day out of the entire calendar year, 365 days, so therefore the probability will be one out of 365, right? Big shock right there, right? So the probability that this guy has a birthday on April 15th is going to be one out of 365, right? That was easy. So now, let's think about the other person, right? Let's take any other person besides this first guy here. So what's the probability, probability that they also have a birthday on April 15th? Well, that's just the same thing, 1 out of 365, right? Right, that second person, the fact that the second person has that same birthday really doesn't necessarily affect the first person's birthday, right? So they obviously... Um, so, uh, yeah, so, right, so we'll have, that second person will have a birthday of one out of, well, the fact, that, or the probability that that person has a birthday on April 15th will be one out of 365, the same as the first person, right? So what about the other people? Well, they can have any other birthday besides April 15th, right? So let's just do this all in one shot here, right? So the second, third, fourth, and fifth person will have um, the probability that they have any other birth date besides April 15th will be, well, all the other days in the year, which is just 364 out of 365, uh, five, not a four, right? And so we have five of these, five people here. So we would do this five times. So just for simplicity's sake, I'll just raise this to the fifth power, right? So this is taking account the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh person. The fact that they can have any other birthday besides the um, excuse me, besides the uh, April fifteenth, right? But this is a problem. It doesn't necessarily right. We know that the first person will have a birthday on the April fifteenth, right? But it doesn't necessarily have to be the second person. It can be the first and the third. It could be the first and the fourth. It could be the second. It doesn't necessarily, even necessarily have to be the first person. It could be the second and the third, second and fourth, et cetera, right? You get the point here. So we need to figure out how many different combinations of, of this scenario here we have, right? So we do that by realizing, or at least by figuring out how many different uh, combinations of two can we get out of seven, right? And so obviously... We have to multiply this by a factor of 7C2, right? So that will take care of how many different combinations that there are uh, of two in a group, just two distinct at a group of seven, right? So meaning that if, uh, you know, the first and third person is going to be the same as the third and the first person, so therefore, in uh, when you're doing a combination, it's not going to be counted. It's counted as one, you don't count it uh, as two, right? So 7C2 is obviously 21. Right? I'm assuming that you know how to calculate uh, NCR and NPR. And then you're going to get uh, 21 times, in this case, let me change the marker here, 21 times. This ends up being, if I did my arithmetic correctly, this is 7.5 times 10 to the negative 6 times 10 to the negative 6, right? These two numbers here. And then we're going to multiply that by this quantity here, which is 0 0.986, right? And then you get the probability is going to be equal to 
0 0.00016, right? Or if you're like scientific notation, that's 1.6 times 10 to the negative 4, right? So it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty small probability. Obviously, that's taking into account the fact that you can have three people with the same birth date, or four, or five, or six, right? It's taking into account all those other possibilities, and it's saying only two. So it's a really small um, portion as compared to the entire, all the other possibilities. And obviously, they have to sum up to equal one, and so therefore, that's why this is so small. All right, so hopefully that was clear, and um, hopefully that helped uh, get an understanding of this uh, type of problem, and we will see you all in the next video.